Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. Thanks to the team over at Robot Kingdom. In today's video we're taking a look at the latest offering from G Creations. As part of their GDW line, this is GDW Zero Two Rebel. Their take on an IDW inspired Prowl. Quick look at the back and side of the box. We've got Prowl in his bot and vehicle mode striking some pretty awesome action poses and here we have him out of his plastic prison now prow comes with a nice little bio spec card with him in a rather courageous pose on the front there now he comes with two sets of weapons excluding his launchers of course we get two very powerful looking guns there this kind of yellow energon flowing through them and again this one this one looks more like a kind of launcher some description this just looks like it means business both of those just slide down into his hands and use this part here as a retaining tab and as you can see i've got him mounted with his nightsticks he comes with two of these they are hinged and they just slide down and they're held in by friction uh, but they hold in really nicely and they are not going anywhere now for those of you who follow the comics uh, this is prowl in the comics but he is pretty spot on they have done an amazing job at capturing his likeness just getting in nice and close they're very impressed with the head sculpt, uh, considering it's basically the size of my fingernail, they've done an exceptional job. Probably one of the best head sculpts I've seen from G Creation. They're continuing to get better and better, in my opinion. Uh, to get this guy ready out of the box, I just had to plug in his rocket launchers. They just plug into the back there, and I had to just lift this tab up and bring this round as standard it comes packaged with this facing downwards and that like so but to make it more accurate to the comic this comes out to the side and this kind of arches up over the wheels as opposed to lay completely flat on them but that's a pretty tidy backpack as well he's a very nice looking figure all round They've done a really nice job. Now being part of their metal series, he has a nice balance of strong plastics and die cast weighing in at 226 grams. That's 7.97 ounces, which isn't bad for what is in essence a Voyager class figure. Just to give you an idea of how he looks with some of the other IDW inspired figures, he looks pretty darn spot on and he's definitely above the likes of ssx in terms of production quality uh very very comparable to the generation toys figures and obviously that's the ko kubamau drift that's at the bottom of the pile there but prowl is a fantastic figure in hand very very impressed and although i don't have the generation toys version of gravity builder anymore as you can see here he is alongside uh, mixmaster just to give you an idea of how he scales with the constructicons for those wanting an exact measurement he's just shy of seven inches around 16 to 17 centimeters so he's definitely a good size voyager with all that heft to him you'd expect him to be quite a static figure but he's not he's very nimble and able-bodied just something about his build which really carries across attitude and as soon as you start adding the guns he kind of reminds me of a cybertronian version of judge dread now the guns themselves plug in to that gap on the back of the hand just slides in there and the nightsticks i believe the official transformation for those they just slide into the hand and this then grips and they then can't pass through the hand and they just sit underneath like so it's not the most secure of ways to hold but it's definitely accurate and it looks absolutely awesome right 
Now articulation, the head can look up that far, down, we can go left and right, and we can tilt side to side. These thrusters are on a hinge, so they can go up and down, and they can be removed from the back there. The shoulders can go forwards and backwards. This section here is actually independent of the shoulders, so shoulders themselves do move underneath it. Uh, we then lift them out to the side. We do get some hindrance when we start lifting them out to the side. We can go all the way up to about there without having to move the missile too far outwards. We get an upper bicep rotation. We get a lovely double jointed bend on that elbow. Now the fists are pinned through the fingers and they have a static thumb, but they do rotate. We get some rotation on the waist. A little bit of hindrance from the backpack section there. The backpack's got a lot of play in that lower section, uh, so you can just move that slightly further back. Hip skirts to the side allow for nice motion going forwards. I love how these hip skirts just fold upwards to get out of the way. Uh, they come out to the side, nice strong friction joints there, up thigh rotation. We've got a nice deep 90 degree bend on the knee. We have a nice flexible knee pad and the feet are ball mounted. So we've got a lot of play there on the toe and coming around to the heel, we can move that up and down. So we can get a nice deep solid stance. But if we grab the back and just lift this torso section slightly, then we do have a very nice abdominal crunch in there as well, which can come quite far forwards. Um, and you can kind of gain a little bit from moving it backwards. I do like having that kind of chest and abdominal crunch section popped up. You can kind of lean that lower torso back and then bring the chest slightly further forward. It, I think it makes him look a little bit more dynamic and kind of raises the head and brings the head forward somewhat more. Personally, this is how he's going to be displayed in my collection. I might go for the double gun option i'm not entirely sure yet but he does of course transform the bot mode is pretty much spot on absolutely fantastic joints really nice range of motion some very natural posing ability but how does he fare up in his vehicle mode and is it going to be a nightmare to transform like their prime right now to get him transformed up we need to just remove his weapons uh, from both of his hands and we need to remove the rockets from his shoulders as well just a heads up uh, these stickers i've put on here they're not meant to be kept on they can be removed that's just to tell people that these pieces here are fragile and could get broken it's basically this their way of giving you a heads up uh, something else i like is the ability to have that kind of riot mask is it just to prep him for going out and uh, kicking some deceptor butt. Really clean looking legs. And then we've got the exhausts that can move up and down on the back there, which stops there being any hindrance on those knees. Rubber tires as well, just the small things like that, which can make all of the difference with this type of figure. But anyway, I'm digressing, let's move his guns, they just tab in to this slot here. This section here on is going to lift upwards, bring these white flaps up. Now we can just pull and lift this chest up and over the head and those shoulders. And that goes up there nice and cleanly, actually very little in the way of clearance issues unfold these back wing pieces this tab here is going to come up and we're going to pull that down the waist is going to rotate just make sure that these are completely down when you rotate the waist or you'll end up snapping those off then just make sure that the waist is fully collapsed in so we're no longer using that abdominal joint. Uh, there's these two slots just under here. We're going to rock this forwards and quite a tricky little hinge 
to conquer. But once we've conquered it, that plugs in there nicely. This can then rock forwards, and that's going to just sit at the front there and just tab in at the front of that bonnet piece. Rotate the exhaust systems around on the arms, and then the arms themselves are going to collapse inwards. This piece rotates downwards, and there is the tab just on the inside there, and that's going to push into the tab on the side of the cockpit. Now, if yours doesn't line up, the way to rectify this is just make sure that this shoulder is completely rolled back, just so it's flat on the side there, and they just plug in there nice and tidily. This piece here slides in to the gap between the black and the white piece, and just comes down to the side. So we're looking at something like that from the side on view. You then want to just push and rock this arm and shoulder forward so that we've got the two tabs on the underside of the arms. They are gonna tab in to this hole here and this hole here to line up and keep everything in nice and securely and then bring that tab down to the side. So at this point we should be left with something that looks pretty much like this. We can now roll the front of this bonnet section backwards and this is going to kind of marries up and both just slide into this groove on the side of the cockpit. Come down to the legs, lift this piece up. This grey section is going to come away from the front of this leg. Just opening up these leg pieces, we can then bring this down. We have this piece here. This is going to come out, and the wheel is just going to fold under. The foot lifts up, and this is going to rock up like so. This wheel piece is on a sliding hinge. This needs to be slid all the way across until it locks fully into place. And then you see this long gray hinge here. We need to rock this up. So at this point, we're left with <laughs> a bit of a mess. Right, bring these legs down just so we've got more room to play. You want to bring this hinge over. So this is going to form the front of the wheel section. This is going to come up and just tab in to this part here. The legs. The legs are fun. <laughs> Bend this joint and bring it up underneath this section here. It's then going to go up and if you look on the inside of this piece here there's a small nub and basically this is going to slide along this is going to come in here and tab in. This is the trickiest part of the transformation. So really, that's not that bad at all, is it? Uh, that's just pegged in there. Bring this piece back up. Bring the exhaust down. Make sure everything's tabbed in together. The legs can then tab in as well. We then just push and make sure everything is lined up nicely the feet are down the exhausts can come up to that angle and then we're going to start just applying those weapons the guns are just stored using that slot and the tab on the side they just push those in firmly and there's a groove just on the underside there the shoulder mounts can just slide down into that crevice and push and mount and there we have him fully transformed up into his vehicle mode that was actually a pleasure compared to what we got with their prime he does roll quite nice it's just a matter of making sure everything tabs up accordingly but we've got the big exhaust sections on the back there we've got some nice lights everything holds together remarkably well it's just a really good looking vehicle and again very close to what we got with the original artwork now size wise really nice substantial vehicle easily the size of some of the voyager 
masterpiece figures and he's got that chunk to him not a huge fan of the way they've done the gray on the cockpit uh, but that's something possibly toy hacks could fix with some maybe cell shading or something on there but all in all it's a very clean representation of prowl everything holds together pretty nicely underside is quite clean we do have his head visible under there and we've got kind of a bot hanging on but that being said uh, that's pretty much what we needed they've ticked every box given us a very good bot mode and a very good vehicle mode now, to my knowledge there isn't any storage spaces for the batons i could be completely wrong but i can't see anything obvious in the instructions uh, all in all it's a great build one of their better products in my opinion it's a fun toy and that bot mode is just divine thanks again to robot kingdom for making this review possible if you've enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up share and of course subscribe and until next time from myself and rebel aka idw prowl thanks for watching goodbye